I was a student here in the early 90s, 1990, and a full-time position came up while I was at school, and it was a custodial position. So what I did is I took that position and it helped me get through school, but I loved it. I loved what I did. Um, you know, that time as a custodian, we also helped out with sets. So even though I was a student, it was nice for me to be able to go in and help the students out also. Well, I ended up transferring from there. In 2001, an opportunity came back, came for me to come back to UVU, and so I applied and got the job, and here I am 17 years later. So it all started back then when I was a student and, uh, and getting that full-time job and just loved the environment. As a director, Joel deals with issues every day, whether they're employee issues or student issues, and that temperament of just even kill, get the job done, figure out a solution is what I think makes him so successful. And in the end, helps me in my job as well. He takes those issues and addresses them so they don't raise it to my level. It doesn't, that doesn't happen very often. And I'm so appreciative of the work that he does. I think when I talked about Joel, he's just, like I said, he's kind, he's loving, he's honest. And so his interactions that I've seen with students with him, it's really, he takes the time to listen to them. He's all about student success, which is one of our core themes here, right? So he wants to see students be successful. So whenever there's an issue, whenever there's a concern, whenever there's something that needs to be taken care of that involves students or just faculty or staff in general, he's quick to be able to ensure that that issue or that concern is rectified. He'll go out of his way to make sure that that student is taking care of whatever the concern is. There's this book called Quiet and it's about just quiet leadership. People who aren't um, extroverts or always um, the first person in a meeting to say something. And that's not Joel, he's the person behind the scenes who takes his time, thoughtfully thinks through issues, and then he presents a solution or an idea. And that's what I love about him, is he's just, he is here every day. He is dedicated, he's diligent, he never gets worked up about any issue. I'm the one who gets worked up about the issues, and he's always the one who is calming me down and saying, no, we're fine, we're gonna be able to make this work. Honestly, I'll just uh, give him a big hand and congratulate him and just say, you know what, you're deserving of this award. And with a humble person as he is, he would probably say, you know what, I'm just trying to do my job and I probably don't deserve it. But he's as most deserving as anybody else on this campus. It's humbling to even be nominated for something like this, it really is. I, I don't, I like to be behind the scenes, I don't like to be out in the forefront. So to me it was humbling, but it, it's, it's an honor. And I don't look at it as just me. I mean, our whole department and you know, just a lot of people around it that make things happen. And so, yeah. But it was, uh, it was, it was a little shocking. Uh, but it is an honor to, to be able to receive this. Yeah.